PlayStation 3 is poised to rule a triumvirate of gaming generations. Its technology is advanced, ahead of the curve, with a price tag to match. There are two models available. A lower-end $500 model has a smaller 20GB hard drive for game storage, as well as save games, demos, and other downloads. The $600 premium system sports 60 gigs and various flashcard slots, a glossy silver trim, and wireless internet capabilities, though both have wired gigabit ethernet ports. Otherwise identical, let's take a closer look at what makes the PS3 tick and talk. There are several brains within the console. Under the moniker Cell, the 3.2 GHz processor houses seven cores, one power processing element, and six called Synergistic Processing Elements, or SPEs. Each core acts like a separate computer that can relegate a specific meaty task for games. One core can run the physics. Another keeps the artificial intelligence in line, while still another is handling the 7.1 sound matrix or can even be dedicated to lighting. Devoted to specific tasks, there's no chance of interruption as they crunch the numbers, they become growling aliens or football fields, with even the tiniest details, like a character's clothing response to the elements, which all helps transform games into a next level experience. An untapped core sits as a watchdog, guarding the PS3 from any malicious intent. The new issue for developers is how to budget the power while finding ways to make use of all of it. Dubbed the Reality Synthesizer, the graphics are provided by an NVIDIA graphical processing unit, a streamlined and speedy card set to stress per pixel placement over pushing more dots in a less organized raw manner. 256 megs of speedy memory is dedicated to graphics alone, and if that's not enough, it can grab some of the PS3's main memory as well, meaning more polygons can be pushed to build the worlds and characters. But it's not just polygons. Bump maps will give off greater depth, while larger textures from the shiny gleam of a race car to the grimy terrain of a war-torn city will reflect or absorb all the dynamic lights at a resolution of up to 1080p. No other gaming system on the market can output in true 1080p. What's that number and letter mean? A lot. Over 2 million individual pixels are available to litter the screen, with games yielding over two times the amount of resolution offered from standard televisions. That means all the aliens, soldiers, car, weather, bullets, lights, and other elements the reality synthesizer is pumping out can be seen in exquisite detail. The P means progressive, drawing each horizontal line in sequence. Standard definition TVs are interlaced, meaning every other line is displayed, which can cause jittery images. That's a problem relegated to the past.